that was collection rate for medic, and we talked about a few things you guys could do to fix that. Uh, we are going to have Heather from the billing office uh, come up and talk a little bit about billing and collections and signatures, um, and answer questions that you guys that may have on that type of stuff in order to improve our collection for medic, but more importantly, um, make us a little bit more efficient from a company perspective. There is an overlap between clinical and billing, right? So the better charts that you write, more often, the more we can collect at that point, or the better we can collect at that point. But also, we can do fantastic quality assurance and improvement. Um, and Gene will talk a little bit about some upcoming improvements to our charting system. I believe he will do that. So if not, I look the cat out of the bag. So, but that's it. Heather, come on up.
their copy actually overrides yours and it erases your signatures. So what I will be doing if that happens, instead of putting the paper on the soup desk, I will actually forward it back to your inboxes for tablets and then just resign it and resubmit it. Now I always like to save on it every time. Signature, and then also yeah. as a yes or no. Again, Gene kind of gave you a prelude to things. We are really, really pushing that we don't have that signature. We just have a billing signature, and just capturing a phone number is the yes or no at that point. Yeah. Okay. Well, but we're not there yet, so you need to capture. I know. Well, yeah, I mean, my, my, I mean, and maybe I'm alone in this, but my experience with this has been not. It, it's the concept of us, the people that have. I mean, they've come at me hard. Is that I am very sick, and you're asking me to sign something so that somebody will call me to evaluate this whole process and they and I'm I mean I don't want to express too much anger in my voice cuz that's them I just let it go from there and say no I mean we're, we're fine that it makes us my point is it makes us look bad and maybe again I'm just I had a handful of people that nobody else has really had that much experience and I I'm just telling you that as far as the feedback part with regard to if if the big shots that are Trust arranging me, I hear you. yeah and I my personal advice to you is Use your professional judgment, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't push it in that situation. Yeah. Um, this is a great concept. It really is, um, and I think it's probably going to take another year or two for Kaiser to get it all smoothed out to where the patient doesn't even have to participate. In, in statistical analysis of all this, we call it biasing. It's not probably the best mechanism to do it, but um, we really are pioneers. 
Yeah. And I do think it actually is going to become something that's quite viable in the future, especially as we go forward. So no, this isn't the final incarnation of how it's going to work. And I strongly, with, with all things, we, we're very customer service focused here. And if you're not giving a good customer service trying to do this, then don't do it. Okay. Please. So Scott, I took your comment from the last all hands. When we had a separate meeting, uh -huh. we actually have a meeting on the same <coughs> thing, which you just entertained me to no end. But that said, I took those comments and shared that, and this is what we came up as an option okay. to make it easier. The next step, which is really where we want to be, which is if they provide a cell phone number, that's consent. Okay? And hopefully that's oh, a we'll get there. quicker conversation to have as well. Sounds good. But we need a good feedback from it. So we actually we have to just take excellent results. Or have gotten excellent results. Any further questions for Gene or Heather? So I was curious, like, I know that they want full statistics. Say that we have a critical patient and they can't give consent either one way or the other. Should we sign on ever have, like, decline? Yeah. You're welcome to decline. Please don't accept. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see how we can do that. I would always say my situation. So. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you wouldn't even be getting a billing signature problem at that point, so we probably want to get a new signature. And, again, we know we're not going to get 100%. That's just not going to happen. Uh, we would like to get a much larger sample. Unfortunately, the signature capture range, which I think we got as high as about 35%, has dipped down to about 11%. So participation is really waning. Uh, and uh, we would like to help drive that back up. Again, this is really a very high-level pro or high-profile project that Kaiser's top national okay, so As far as standard signatures, are we still required to get a job to witness those? Like most of my partners say they've never done that. I told the viewers we do that a long time ago. Witnessing, oh, the, oh um, if it's the patient you mean? Or anyone else. Oh, so, um, get ready. I don't really. I thought you said you could answer the answer. No, yeah. I can't. Yeah, I don't really. Well, the thing is, is the witness is you, and if you're signing the chart, I don't really think it's necessary. As long as you're putting, I mean, so if it's the paper form, yes, you have to sign that you're the witness. If it's on your tablet, I don't think it's necessary for you to put your witness. But I you're do already signing the document. Right, but I do need to know specifically when you're when somebody else is signing like the RN, I need to know like RN Betty. Like I need to know the name of the RN. Oh, we can not just name. put facilities in here. First and last or no, just first. First, whoever it is. So. I think this is not a good thing. What other questions? Are you guys are letting IT talk. We should change this time. This time, this time. I appreciate it. I preloaded them. I'm like, if potential changes come on the charts. You don't want to talk about that. You'll never get out of here. All right. So, thank you guys. Appreciate it.